In this video we are going to discuss about arrow functions. Arrow function is a new feature introduced in ES6 and ES6 onwards. First of all there are various ways of writing a function. So I'll start with ES5 function. This is how we used to write a function. For example I write function test and then whatever you want to write you write it in the function say for example test function call that's what I want to display and we call the function so this is a very normal way of writing a function this we used to write in ES5 even in ES6 there are situations where you have to go with this syntax especially when you are referring the this object then arrow function has a different behavior so that we will discuss in a moment so this is a normal function and then we have function expression as well now when it comes to function expression we use the var keyword or maybe const keyword let's try const keyword because we are using ES6 so I'll say const and then the test that is the function name and I'm going to remove this function keyword of course I'm going to remove the name because that is brought on the left hand side to understand what is a function expression and how do we write a function expression I have already shown you in one of my video called function expression you can check that so this is how we write function expression and when we want to convert this into an arrow function then the only thing you have to do is you have to remove this function keyword and you add an arrow key just after the parentheses so this becomes an arrow function so in a way you can make out that a function expression can be converted into an arrow function or in other words you can say that arrow function is like a function expression only right okay so let's run this and again the output is going to be the same so we removed the function keyword from the beginning and of course we added an arrow that's how we write an arrow function as long as parameter passing is concerned you can add list of parameters here so for example I give a comma B let me just name this function as the sum function right and in this function we are going to write a plus B that is the sum of past values so if I say 4 comma 5 and of course I'm going to change the name now so here we have the sum displayed right because in the console we are showing a plus B if you are returning a value for example I want to return a plus B from the arrow function and let's also display the value which is being returned from the function so again the output is going to be the same you are passing 4 comma 5 and we are getting the sum of values now when you have a single statement in an arrow function then arrow function gives you a facility where you can avoid writing these brackets and also you don't need to write the return statement it is automatically considered that something is getting returned so now if we run this we are going to get the same output but if you compare earlier we had few lines now we have just a single line and the arrow function is returned this is one of the advantage of writing an arrow function we, we normally say that it's less cumbersome right it's easy to write easy to deal with when you are coming from the traditional environment and first time when you look at the arrow function you might feel that this is little difficult but it is actually not let me just revise very quickly that we wrote the function called test and we had a function keyword right this is how we have the function expression so to convert this into arrow function you just remove the function keyword and put an arrow and your arrow function is ready but compared to this syntax you can imagine that when you have situation with one statement you don't even need to write return there are other facilities also we have in arrow function like when you have single parameter for example I have only one parameter say B right and let's also put console.log here because returning the same value will not make any sense so let's say console.log and I try to display the value of B here and just passing one value only so now you have one parameter only so in such case you can avoid writing any parentheses you can simply say B without any parentheses here and it displays the value right so this is how the arrow function works 
these are the basic ways or basic syntax you can say how do we use arrow function but important thing here is that in arrow function the this object does not work or in other words you can say that the this object does not follow the default binding concept here let's check one example I am creating an object literal now let's say I am creating a method I am using the traditional syntax first of all and then here in this method I am going to display the value of this and I am going to call obj dot method whatever the method name is of course in our case the name is method only and I am running this as you can see that it is referring the object itself right which has one method only so normally when you write this function and you are trying to refer the value of this then it is pointing to the same object right but let's say if I convert this into an arrow function right the moment I do that as you can see in the console it displays the window object remember it refers the global scope now that means the binding of this object is gone arrow function doesn't work with this and there is a reason also behind it arrow function is just meant for a function only whereas when you write this function the function had a duty of working as a class also sometimes but in ES6 we have dedicated class we have dedicated facilities for object oriented and because we have dedicated facility in ES6 like classes the function is free from doing the duty of class as well of course with a function keyword if you still want to make a constructor function you can so we have seen that the this object doesn't work with the arrow function the way it used to work with the traditional way there is also one more object which is not working in arrow function and that object is arguments object it is an object which takes all the parameters passed to a function for example here we have a function called sum let's say I'm writing a function expression only and there I'm not giving any list of parameters but I'll display console.log arguments this is an object we used to have in ES5 but in arrow function it doesn't work to understand this let's pass few parameters here I'm passing 5 6 and 8 so there are three parameters passed to this function now when I run you will see that 5 6 8 and it, it shows 3 that means arguments is one of the object which is actually an array like object which contains all the parameters passed to a function but the moment I remove the function keyword here and if I put an arrow then arguments object also doesn't work so now you will not see anything here so in arrow function if you try to put arguments it will not work then another question raises in mind is if I want to achieve the similar kind of functionality what arguments object used to give us how we can do that in an arrow function so for that we have a concept called rest parameter that is rest of the parameters I can directly write dot 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 and then I can give an array name for example I may give args now let's try to display this args so if I run this then again we have this array arguments was array like object where here we have an array only so these three dots we call as rest parameter right so sometimes we also call that as the rest operator as well these three dots are called as rest operator and also called as spread operator we have a dedicated video about what is rest and what is spread operator a small video but it explains you what is the difference but right now we are focusing here to understand the rest operator so three dots we use to grab all the parameters passed to the function in arrow function this is another point about arrow function that arguments object doesn't work and if you want the similar functionality you can use the rest operator that is three dots while we are discussing about parameter passing one more facility added in ES6 which can be used without arrow function or with arrow function and that is about default value the default value functionality we can use like this let's say you have a and b 
and we are trying to display both A and B here. Assume that when we are not passing anything, right? Let's say A I want by default to be 0 or B I want default to be 8, right? So now when you say A is equal to 0 in the arguments list or B is equal to some value, it means that if no value is passed to A, then A will be 0 and if no value passed to B, then it will be 8. So right now we have already passed these values. So when we run, it's going to show 5 and 6 respectively. But let's say I don't pass any value, right? Then in that case, it will refer the default value. So A is 0 and B is 8. Remember, this functionality we can use with the traditional way syntax as well. You can simply say function, whatever the value is. You can say function and a is equal to 9 or maybe 0, right? So default value functionality you can do uh, in ES6. So ideally when you want to make sure that you have some default value, then you can use this default value functionality. It's really very useful when you have some arithmetic operation, like for example, I have A comma B. And when I try to say A plus B here, right? And if I don't pass, then by default in JavaScript, the value is going to be undefined then it gives an error. So such cases you would at least prefer that it doesn't give an error. Instead we want to put a kind of validation. So instead of putting a validation, we give them default value. So at least it returns zero.